Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the Scorpio Collective. I will you all are blissed, feeling amazing, feeling favored. I will that today is a beautiful day for you all, and this video is finding you all in optimum health, mind, body, and soul. As you all know, today is the full moon. It is the 11th, so I wanted to push through a reading for you all. And um, as you can see, this is the Dark Matter series, so that means there's not going to be any video. But I did want to show you what two cards just popped out. And it is not a kawinky dink that today is the 11th. And these two cards here popped out as I was shuffling. So we have the personal growth, number seven, and we have the number four, perseverance. Um, so this is the numerology deck. And these are both solid cards. So that obviously tells you that you are very solid in who you are right now, in your stance, and where you're going. You know where you're going. It's because you've grown. There's been a glow up. There's been growth. There's been a growth spurt is what I'm hearing. Um, and we have uh, R. Kelly chiming in the background singing, if I'm... Um, if I'm with you, uh, so I do feel like spirit has been with you during this journey. Eleven uh, truly makes a portal. Um, it's like a download. You could get the divine downloads, interventions, transmissions. You could get those um, very uh, uh, powerful messages straight from source. It's like um, it's direct from source. And I feel that has a lot to do with why these cards are solid. But it also is showing the number seven, which is your crown chakra um and you achieve you know uh obtaining and receiving um a lot of sensitive information at this time uh maybe psychic abilities are super amplified at this time maybe your intuition is super amplified maybe your spidey senses are going off i know i've had that um happened to me a couple of times throughout these past couple of weeks my spidey senses have been kind of like going off and I have not been ignoring it so if someone pops up in my head or spirit tells me watch out for something or look out for something I'm completely obedient and I feel it definitely has um, been very helpful um, so some of you all may be receiving a lot of those types of nudges from spirit um, I definitely feel like you all are on a voyage you're healing uh, from something that was very painful um, and you're growing in the process um, it's just like they say you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and so I feel like whatever was intended to kill you to hurt you to destroy you uh, to set you back a couple of notches um, it actually um, set you up for success because it made you stronger uh, you turned that pain and in, into power um, and with this four I feel like you're solid right now um, I feel you couldn't have done this by yourself um, without the assistance of that higher power of your angels your ancestors your spirit team really helping you if I'm with you meaning spirit if spirit is walking with you then who can be against you you know what I'm talking about like your ancestors were with you your angels uh, maybe you have a particular um, spiritual parent that you work with and they are with you so it's as if they were telling you like if I'm with you you're going to continue this growth spurt there's going to continue to be a ascension um so i do feel like a lot of you all have been very obedient in this process um you've also been very sensitive uh to just those nudges those sensations those feelings those just those little um inklings that there's things going on perhaps behind the scenes or around you uh, or maybe there's other ulterior motives that people are approaching you with or there's some sort of hidden agendas I feel like you've really been able to pick up on that and because this number seven personal growth is here I feel like it's showing that you've been more um 
trusting of your own intuition. Uh, you've learned to trust that, to abide by that, uh, to not go against that. You've learned to use discernment when dealing with certain people because perhaps maybe these individuals have backstabbed you before, which is why you're now um, in the space where you're growing with the perseverance card. Um, that number four is associated with the heart chakra. Um, and that heart means that, you know, there had to be some heartbreak, some disappointment. Um, maybe there was sudden loss. Maybe there was certain grievances that you had, but I feel like you've grown from them. Those experiences, as I said, they didn't kill you. They made you stronger. Um, right now we have Alanis Morissette. So, um, and the name of the song is called You Oughta Know. And so maybe a lot of you all, you know, maybe for a long time, you were um, really kicking yourselves in the butt for some things that maybe you didn't uh, pick up on initially. You know, maybe there was some certain uh, circumstances that unfolded that you were probably judging yourself for for a long time. Um, but now it's like you've almost learned to just be more um, compassionate, uh, to be just more um, trusting of the process and to know that you didn't go through anything. You grew through the experience. It was meant for you to go through it because maybe there were some things that you needed to um, alter within your own uh, psyche. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like, I feel like with you ought to know, um, you may have been really uh, hard on yourself about things that you didn't initially see, you know, and it's because of your caring heart, because you're empaths, you always give people the benefit of the doubt. You always approach people from your own vantage point. So if you're a very loving, compassionate, caring, empathic person, um, you're not your your first instinct isn't to just be untrusting of people. Um, I feel like you were more so concerned with the betterment of others. How are they doing their well-being? Um, and I feel people may have exploited your kindness, but you've grown. Um, it's not so much that you're going to not be as loving and embrace people um, in the same way, but I feel like this time you're, there's going to be more caution because you've grown to trust your intuition. So it's almost as if like in the past, maybe you're starting to reflect back like, oh, that was a sign. I see where, um, you know, I was supposed to go back. You know, that was a red flag for me and I ignored it and I still gave them a chance. So now it's like now you're learning or you've learned with the personal growth, this number seven, which is all purple. Um, the purple deals with the psyche that deals with your um, cerebral um, strength, your your strength. Uh, so I do feel like you've grown in that area to be more trusting of your own intuition, to not submit your will to other people, to not let other people talk you into things uh, without you fully being um you know, without you fully being all in, it's like, don't let anybody encourage or, or pressure you into doing things. So that could have been why you could have been like, you know, with you ought to know, it's like, you should have knew better, you could have been kind of beating yourself up for that. And I feel like, you know, there's no need to do that, be more, com com more compassionate towards yourself. Um, don't judge yourself in your journey. This is all a learning process. Um, some of us have not, um, you know, realize that these things that we experience in life, these these circumstances, these experiences are not meant to destroy us. It's actually, these are teachable moments. We're meant to learn the lessons, um, especially when you're, when we're going through those karmic cycles. Um, and as I said, in a former reading, it's like a karmic cycle is to be completed, not repeated. And if you find yourselves constantly going through a perpetual, um, experience, it's because there's something there you're not learning. Um, and it could be because you're too open or you're not not giving yourselves, um, you know, the, the, uh, discipline that's necessary, uh, to deal accordingly, you know, so you got to trust the process, trust what spirit is trying to show you, uh, not even trying what spirit is showing you and, and be obedient. This process requires obedience. Even if you can't see something, um, immediately, you can't see how it's going to work out. That's what walking in faith is all about. That's what trusting, uh, the process is all about. Ashe. So with the seven and four, those were bonus messages. I'm going to keep those there.
but we're going to go ahead and continue to shuffle. I do want to say thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, welcome to the channel. As I said, my name is Q. Um, I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am also clairaudience, so you will hear uh, music in the background. You may hear me saying uh, such and such is playing now. Um, such uh, Right now, we actually have um, Eddie Kendricks, and this is called Intimate Friends. Um, so some of you all definitely are uh, dealing with some folks that you may have uh, you may have labeled them a friend. Um, maybe some of you all may have uh, someone around you that could be, you know, wanting a little more than friendship with you. That's a possibility, uh, especially since we have this this glow up that makes you more attractive. Um, Eleven is reduced um, to two. So there could be some sort of. Uh, I feel like there could be someone trying to come towards you. There could be some, some someone making a decision. Um, maybe you're going to have to make a decision about a particular person that's coming your way. Uh, two is also associated with the high priestess. So I do feel like spirit is just telling you to trust your inner gumption, trust your inner wisdom, because you already have the answers that you're seeking. Um, and the answers are not external to you. It's within. So there could be meditation that's required. Uh, meditate to get it straight. You know what I'm saying? Go within. Um, do a little woosah. You know, I've been making a lot of meditation videos. So take the time to listen to that to to be you know to bathe in that sound bath to to really just you know unwind to center yourself the world is crazy enough and it's 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 you don't need people in your ear constantly telling you what to do where you're going what's happening because you know that that can kind of uh cause a little bit of 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 uh, brain fog as well when you got too much input so sometimes it's necessary to just unplug um to disconnect to just just let it go you know not listen to words but just let the sounds bathe you to let the sounds soothe you um heal you even uh so some of you all definitely um are in need of just uh just to unplug I'm, I'm i'm picking up on that uh very strongly you know um if you've been around people a lot um there could definitely be a need for you to just disengage for a moment uh gather yourself because i do feel like there's just your, your energy is depleted like you're 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 just overwhelmed like you're overwhelmed right now um i don't know if it's people that is demanding of you your time your energy or if it could be a job that you're working that's very demanding maybe there's been some changes um in leadership uh and maybe you have supervisors or team leadership that's just a thorn in your ass and they're trying to make your job miserable and it just you know it's like just take a woosah regroup you know no one is in control unless you submit your will know that you're always in control of your life your destiny and just take that moment to step back and assess the situation and speak the words of power into your situation do not just submit your will and your power to anyone just because they have a title doesn't mean that they are powerful or more powerful than yourself or your higher self or your spirit team so whatever you know is meant for you is yours nobody can block spirits what spirit is sending for you so right now we have my beloved prodigy this is called mystic so you all are very beautiful energies y'all are powerful beings and that's why we have this personal growth here it's like you've grown spiritually and you still have to deal with the worldly ish you know what i'm talking about like you're you've leveled up spiritually and so it's like you have to walk in that now you know what i'm saying you can't just just talk about it you got to be about it now now you have to completely embody that that alchemist that magi you can't just talk about it so we got new beginning we have forgiveness and we have leadership here. I can't make this ish up. So you do have a new beginning. And just as I said, as you complete cycles and wrap up those those toxic cycles, um, you learn to navigate new terrain. You learn to navigate, you know, tough terrain, I should say. And in navigating that, you learn more about yourself. That's why the perseverance and the personal growth is here because you've personally made those changes. You've made the right decisions to get to this place and in the space that you currently and are in. And I feel with mystic spirit is all around you. Spirit is within you. Spirit is around you. Spirit is encouraging you. That's why that seven is here as well, because that's the way that the spirit communicates with you through your dreams, through synchronicities, through acts of 
those encounters with animal totems through just nudges, through sensations, through sound, through feelings. And it's, there's just synchronous, synchronized events that take place, which lets you know that your angels and guides are right there with you. So don't ever doubt it. You know, don't ever doubt that. Um, with this mystic, I do feel like there could be um, a sense that you all could be utilizing your energy, magic, you know, your magic right now. Maybe during this full moon, a lot of you are utilizing your magic to manifest uh, some new desires, you know, uh, maybe Maybe you're manifesting more money, a new position, a promotion. Maybe you're manifesting success in your businesses, in your careers, in your uh, passions. Um, but I do feel like you're tapping into uh, your divinity. You're tapping into your power. You're channeling that power right now. Um, <clears throat> my throat is going going out. So I do feel like there's definitely um, someone trying to to uh, kind of like block that. Uh, there is a sense that someone's trying to hush you, shush you, uh, quiet you, um, dim your light, block your blissings, whatever it is, but they can't. There's, it's like, that's why they're so persistent also. I just feel the sense of persistence. Um, but with this new beginning, you have a beautiful new beginning. This is you standing erect, standing in your power, having a new opportunity to um, approach something that you're very passionate about. This is even speaking to your own deep um, rooted passions that could be kind of unearthing, you know, within you, like you're starting to rediscover the things you're most passionate about, what you truly desire, because you've just come out of a cycle where you were in a very, um, you know, studious um, energy. And with this forgiveness, just as I said, a lot of you are, are having to forgive yourselves, uh, perhaps for some of the experiences that you were blaming yourselves for um, this isn't a blame game you go through things um, so that you can grow so that you can evolve so that you can uh, stand in your power and take your power back but it's never to make you feel uh, incompetent or not good enough or not smart enough not strong enough not beautiful enough it has nothing to do with that it's all about you learning your own worth you learning your value you learning your love language um, you learning how to stand up for yourself back you know and to not back down, how to, to really um, be more integral, more self-respecting, uh, self-disciplined, you know, it's all about self-preservation. And I feel like with these two cards, seven and four, um, and the purple, solid purple, solid green, it shows that you're solid. Um, that just shows solidarity. That shows that you're sturdy, that you are independent, that you're strong, um, that you are now um, really uh, laying the foundation. You know, you're, you're, you're truly cultivating something new. Um, creating something new, birthing something new, standing in your power. Uh, and you could, you could only get to this place uh, through the act of forgiveness, forgiving yourself and also forgiving those who may have done you wrong, forgiving those who don't know better, you know? Um, and, and I feel because of your ability to show that type of compassion, as I said, that's why you're now able to move into this very powerful energy of a leader, a boss. Um, 81 reduces to nine, which is the number of the leadership card here. Uh, forgiveness is 96. So that's 15, that's six. Um, um, and so you had to forgive someone from your past because the six is giving me like the six of cups, um, six of swords where you had to move away from someone. Uh, this may require you to move away uh, from a particular position, a role, um, maybe even relocating altogether uh, for this new beginning. One is a fresh start. It's a new opportunity. Um, it's also speaking to like healing from them past weight past wounds and trauma. Um, we have right now Tamar uh, Braxton. This is called the one. Um, so yeah, you were the only one that could really implement these changes. Cause as I always say, you teach people how to treat you. And maybe that's why you was kicking yourself in the, in the behind and, and blaming yourself because maybe you started to reflect back on certain experiences and you were seeing all of the red flags that you previously ignored. Um, but it's all good. Like I said, because now you're in this position where you do, you know better. You know what I'm saying? And when you know better, you could do better moving forward. So it isn't about blaming yourself. It isn't about, you know, looking backwards to to find fault. It's about looking back in awareness and, and being able to point out 
where you made the mistake so that the mistake won't be duplicated. And that's growth. That's elevation. It's just like if you take a test at school, you know what I'm saying? And you may fail the test initially, but the second time you take that test, you're not going to make the same mistakes you made initially on the test. Next time you're going to score higher because now you know better. And that's all life is. You're going to score higher. You know what I'm talking about? So I feel now that's why you're coming out with this 81 leadership because this is the level you've elevated to you've level le elevated into that role of a boss into that role of someone who is not taking no shorts going after what they want eye of the tiger someone who has their eyes on the prize someone who's very diligent someone who works hard someone who's not afraid someone who's fearless that is all of the elements of someone who is a leader you have to be able to assert yourself you have to be able to 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 move the crowd to to uh, speak and 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 get the attention of those watching you or listening so I feel like you're in that that position now where you're more confident and as you build up that confidence more people are more uh susceptible to believing what you're saying so now this like you're completely different from what you may have been and in order for you to get to this place you had to forgive forgive yourself forgive those who hurt you people know not what they do you know what i'm saying and those that intentionally hurt you well trust me they're going to receive karma for that you know what I'm saying? Because whatever seeds you're sowing, whatever faith, good faith, bad faith, whatever it is you're doing it in, trust me, there is Mama Ma'at that's always watching that has everyone's address and you're going to pay for that. So I feel now that you are more that you have wisened up, that you have freed your dome from those, that spirit of lack, that, that woe is me, that, that loathsome, um, you know, self-deprecating, uh, you know, mindset. Now you're in the space now where it's like, okay, I forgive myself. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I forgive me. I know it wasn't my fault now. You know what I'm saying? That's like someone who was abused, blaming themselves and people on the outside looking in, they, they're like, no, you're not the blame. It's the one that's been beating your ass for 10, 20 years. How are you the blame? You know, and that's, that's that, you know, that, um, uh, there is a term for that. Oh man. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh man. I can't think of it right now. It escapes me, but I will put it down in the description box for what that is called. But I feel for many of you all, you're now in your power, beloveds. And this is absolutely amazing. You know, this is a time when a lot of people are um, really feeling powerless. You know, there's there's all kind of recessions going on. They got all kind of diseases popping up out here. Crime rate is up. People losing their mind. And for you to be standing in this position of a leader, a boss, shows how you had to persevere through all of the nonsense to get to this place where you now know your worth and value. And you're now owning your power and you're standing in it and you're not backing down from anything any longer. Um, we got Gregory Porter and this is called uh, insanity. So yeah, just as I said, you know, there's so much going on in the world that can drive you crazy. Mental health is through the roof. You know, there's a lot of mental health cases that's just popping up. And, you know, we know why. We just, all you gotta do is turn on the TVs and you could see why, you know, and I'm not just talking about the news. I'm talking about just the program and the television programming that's happening right now. People are being stupefied. You know what I'm talking about? The consciousness of society is just, it is being dwindled down to nothing. You could see what's happening with YT right now. It's like regular videos are not like getting the regular airplay or um, they're not, how do you say it's not meeting the requirements to to get into the algorithms? So you literally have to dumb yourself down to a minute video, these shorts, because that's the new wave. And it's because they're competing with the TikToks and the these and thems. And, and it's just like, have we truly been you know, bamboozled to think that our attention span has dwindled down to just one minute? or a three minute video, like, are you trying to tell me that people cannot pay attention and focus for longer than that? That it, it's truly like, it's, it's really alarming where we are right now as a society. And that's why I was picking up earlier, like people, we, we just need to just unplug from the madness because it, it, the music is toxic. 
the television, there's nothing on television that will inspire you, encourage you, motivate you. It's all fake news, reality TV, and it's just, the music is not music. It, it's just, it's poison. It's poison. The, the freaking movies, every movie that come out is a remake of a remake of a remake. There's nothing original anymore. And we're literally living in a topsy-turvy world, which is why people are losing it. They're losing their isht. And it's just getting to the point where you better have a backup plan. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like you need to like be able to disconnect. A lot of people are addicted to this ish. They wake up. This is the first thing they go to. YouTube, the first thing they do. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even watch things that are um, healthy. You know, you try to put something on that's really healthy or really encouraging and inspiring. And they're like, where's love and hip hop? Where's Real Housewives? You don't watch that? No, I don't know. I don't watch that. That's ratchet. <laughs> that's like killing my brain cells every minute. You know, like it's just toxic, man. And it, it's very telling. I recently just watched um, an old movie called The Network. Um, and it's just, it was made back in, I want to say the 50s or the 60s, maybe the 70s, pardon me. I think it was made in the 70s, the 60s or the 70s. And it's just amazing how applicable it is to this, to this day. So it just lets you know this is all by design. You know, they're trying to dumb us down. They're trying to to desensitize us. And that's why it's very important to vibrate higher. But I digress. So you all have been really standing in this boss energy, regardless of what's been going on around you. Continue to do so. Continue to protect your energy. Continue to not relay to anyone what you got going on, how you got it going on, what you're doing, what you're working on, where you're going, where you're headed. Because I'm telling you, this misery loves company out here. It does. When you seem to be too happy, people hate that. When you seem to be doing well, people hate that too. So it's like just, you know, just stay under the radar. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm not telling you to dim your light for anyone, but just stay under the radar. Don't speak about the good things that's happening in your life because it's very rare that people will celebrate that. You know, it's almost like in this day and time, they're encouraging and, you know, everyone to, to just speak ill. It's like if you look at even the YT algorithms, every negative video you could think of has ridiculously high viewership. But if you put on something that's positive, where's the views? And it's like, is it by design? Are they doing that on purpose so that people will flock? So people will be duped into thinking that this is what they should be watching and tuning into. It's like, it's almost like you got to question that. And so I never go where all of the traffic is. I always go to the, to in the opposite direction. I've always been that way. That's just me. And so I encourage you all to do that more. If you see a 50 billion views on some stupid video talking about some celebrity's life or something that does not directly relate to you, don't go there. <laughs> go to the opposite and go somewhere else. You know, go look, search a meditation video. If you feel depressed, that's only going to make you more depressed because it's truly designed to make you feel like you have to compare your life, that you have to be in a competition. And that's why we can never move forward because we're so busy pulling each other back. The little bit you do to go forward, there's 50 people trying to pull you back. And it's just because everybody's in a competition. Everybody is, you know, competing and in this sick you know, uh, competition with the next person and all people are trying to do is survive. You know, that's, that's all they're doing. They're not they're, they're like, nobody's even thinking about you beloved. So it's just really ugly. And uh, I'm, I'm seeing it a lot. Um, it even has me like, you know, questioning my, my channel, like what I'm doing, how I'm, um, utilizing my energy and my time, here on um, YT, um, not to say that I don't enjoy making um, these these videos. I truly do, but I don't see the I don't see the um, how do you say the return on my investment? 
uh, because I do put a lot of time. I do put a lot of energy. Uh, I don't make 15 minute videos. I just don't do that. I don't feel like you could get a clear and concise message with just 15 minutes. I just, I, especially with tarot, you know, and I'm not going to charge anyone. I, I even took down, I was inspired by spirit. Spirit told me to take down my donation, um, um, information like you know uh the love donation uh message because it's just like no you i want you to give these messages to give these fruits of knowledge to people because this is what you're supposed to do this is not what you um should be getting paid to do you know what i'm saying so it's just like i took that information out of my out of my description box because this is not about uh getting money if i'm not getting paid for a reading, then I shouldn't get, I appreciate the love donation, but the way you show love, like I said, is subscribe, like, share, period. That's it. That's all you need to do. You know what I'm saying? They, they got that thanks button there. If you feel so inclined to do that, that's cool. But YT gets the majority of that anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So I barely see that. So I'm not even stressing it, but it's just like, I really am in a, a space now where, um, this, it has to mean something, you know, I want what I'm doing not only to be appreciated, but I want it to be reciprocated. I want the love to be reciprocated. I'm not here standing on a soapbox. I don't feel like I'm the best of the best. I'm I, I would it, it, like, I'm not anything other than a vessel. You know what I'm talking about? So I am here to impart whatever it is, spirit, spirit communicates and motivates and inspires me to communicate to you all so that you all can implement whatever you feel so inclined to change and adjust within your circumstance. It's just knowledge. It's just information. I'm reading the energy. I don't need any praises. I'm not doing anything different than what you can do. I am not a God. I am not a high priestess. Well, we are, <laughs> you know, we're all high priestesses, psychics, but I'm just saying I'm not, I am not um, anything more than what you are. We all are that same power and energy. We all have the same powers and abilities at the end of the day. All you got to do is pick up the cards. If it communicates with you, if you speak, if it feels right in your hands and you feel that energy and you, you can channel in on it intuitive, then you are a reader, period. There's nothing different that I'm doing that you all can't do, you know, I just have my own methodology of doing it as other readers do. And um, I just want you all to know that you are powerful beings. You know, you are powerful beings. And more importantly, you need to start utilizing that power. You know, don't don't look to anyone external to yourself for any answers. I can provide um perhaps a confirmation. I can affirm some issue you already know. Most of y'all already know what you know. And you just come here for the assurance for that, like that nod, like, yep, OK, you know, what I'm talking about. That's why a lot of us will go and talk to a homegirl or a homeboy like, yo, da, 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 just to sharpen the sword. That's that's sharpening sword. That's building. You know, that's what the five percent is called building, you know, and, 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 and that's what we need at the end of the day. Still sharpen steel. I am here to sharpen you and you all sharpen me, whether you realize it or not, because the love that you all give me, it, it motivates me. It encourages me to continue to do it. There's days when I don't want to do it because I don't feel, you know, sometimes I feel like, should I be doing this? Should I be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to play God. I don't want to stand on no, no podium. I don't want to stand on no soapbox and act like I got all the answers. Cause I don't, I'm learning and growing same as you all. And a lot of the experiences that I go through, a lot of the experiences I've been through, a lot of us will all go through, you know what I'm talking about? We're all on the same journeys, you know, and we all have similar situations. So I just will that you all Find your ways, you know, find your way, find your path. Don't feel compelled to do things uh, the way others are leading you to do it or do things that people are telling you to do. What feels right to you? Always go within, search within first. Always search within. I had a sister that um, I truly love this sister. And in the beginning of me starting my YT um, you know, she had reached out and had requested, you know, a personal, a personal reading. Um, and she, she was, you know, kind enough to impart a love donation, you know, and it was like, um, I did the, I did the reading, um, and it was fine. 
you know, it, it was all beautiful, you know, um, but then she requested another one recently and I just didn't want her to feel like, um, she needed me to give her the answer she already had. You know what I'm talking about? Like I, I already give the readings, the general readings. Um, but I don't want what I'm saying to encourage anything that she's doing in her personal life. I want her to be able to, um, go within herself for the answers. Because when you start going to people for personal readings and they're telling, it's almost like you're going to them for the answers, whether you realize it or not. Like I said, if I do a general reading and I'm picking up on your energy, that's one thing because it's a general reading. But when we start talking about give me a personal reading so that I can know, you know, what's going on um, to me, that's more personal and obviously, but then that's more like me kind of telling you what you ought to do or what you should do or what you know, is going to have, and I don't want to be responsible for, for anybody's journey. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I always say, and I have it down in the description box, like never su submit your will. You know what I'm talking about? Like never do that. Never. You know, when you come into someone for the answers, that's submitting your will to whatever it is they're saying. And, and, and if somebody says, oh, well, I see death coming. Like, and if you start getting all afraid and like, oh, my God, somebody's going to kill me. Then what do you think you're doing now? You're putting that energy out there like you're going to die. And, and guess what might happen? Might walk out and get hit by a car and die. Like, I don't want to do that. I'm not responsible. That's not my job. That's not my job. But I could give you these general readings to just pick up on the general energies that are surrounding the Scorpios or the Yang energy or the Yin energy, because now it's like you could draw your own conclusions. If the reading resonates with you, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But you could take the bits and pieces out that resonates with you so that you know what you need to do, because I want you to be responsible for your journey. I don't want to be responsible for your journey. But I digress. I went into that whole diatribe. Pardon me, y'all. So we got this leadership. So be a leader, be a boss. Don't be a follower. Don't follow anyone down any dark roads, any dark paths. So let's see. We're going to clarify these messages. All right. I want to use the dark grimoire because I've been picking up on some really stank stat, you know, energy. I've been feeling like, you know, as I said, um, there's been some little downloads I've been getting about certain people, right? Uh, certain people. And there was a smiling and beguiling energy in the um, Yang reading. And, and I've found that a lot of feminine energy was in that reading saying how much it resonated. And we all know that we we carry both characteristics. We're both yang and yin. Um, you know, we have masculine and feminine properties. Um, so at the end of the day, with the beguiling energy and the devil, um, I was picking up on that even in my own personal life. You know what I'm saying? Like I was feeling there was a lot of, uh, I'm going to be very honest. There was a lot of psychic attacks. There was a lot of um, dark energy that I was picking up on. And um, my spirit was telling me block this one. Like th it was putting particular people. It was showing me particular people in my mind's eye. And it, 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 it was very scary because these are people that literally were smiling and beguiling in my mofo face. Literally acting like all was Gucci, but their deep, dark intentions were revealed to me. And you have to do your due diligence to protect yourselves by all means, because you never know who has that type of contempt, that type of malice, that type of envy and jealousy towards you. If you're constantly all giving, all opened, loving kind, receptive to everyone. Everyone does not deserve that. That is why it behooves you to go according to what your higher self is telling you. And the only way you could do that is by turning off your damn reality TV shows and tapping in, beloved. Why you think that copper med meditation uh, pyramid is sitting in my living room? Because it helps me to tap in directly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you all need to do a little bit of that because there's a lot of dark energies like I'm telling you right now I just feel there's so many lost souls just roaming the earth looking for somebody to just corrupt and if you don't have a higher power 
if you are not protected, if you don't protect yourself, guard yourself by means of just having any type of of um, spirituality, you, you're going to succumb to, you know, this the darkness, you know, the darkness. And, and it, it, I'm telling y'all, you got to protect your energy. You got to protect yourselves because there's some folks out here that are relentless you know, they, because they're miserable, they want to cause misery to you. Because they're unhappy, they don't want to see you smiling. You know what I'm saying? And and they're very tricky. The devil is a liar. The devil is very tricky, very conniving. He knows how to do it. So I just, you know, I, Spirit is telling me to give you all these enemies. Look at this. Can I show you something? And then some of y'all got some folks at your job. And I opened up that some of you all may have some um, employers you know, some supervisors that could be very cunning. Look at this. The seven of swords and then the ace of pentacles. Do you see that? And you sitting here. That's why I was saying you better like watch your back, watch your front, watch your money. Because there's some folks scheming on your cash scheme and they're scheming at your place of employment. So with the seven of swords, somebody very cunning, somebody that's a liar, someone very beguiling, someone who is definitely trying to sabotage something. I was picking up on that earlier in the reading, and there it is. And now we got the moon. See this? There's some things that you don't know. Today is the full moon, 811. Remember, 74 just just jumped out of the damn deck when I was shuffling. And I showed you when I opened up the reading, I wanted to show you what just flew out. And so with this personal growth, it's like the spirit is telling you, you are very intuitive. Trust what you feel. Trust what you feel over what you see, because there's someone that is very, very beguiling. Someone that's very tricky. Someone that speaks with a forked tongue. Someone that's sneaky. This person is so sneaky. They're waiting for you to fall to rest so that they can attack. This is a sneak attack I'm hearing. And then we got the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is really that's undermining you at your place of employment. Somebody's really trying to block some sort of opportunity. So if you applied for a job and you told your supervisor or your supervisor got wind of an opportunity, they're trying to block it. But like I said, nobody can block ish that's meant for you. And you still speak that ish into existence as if it's yours. You don't give nobody the power. When you believe somebody got the power over you, you they already won. You got to speak what you want into existence by all means, all strategy. I'm talking about you speak that ish like you got it. I love my new job. I love my new supervisor. I love my new role. I love being efficient. I love my job performance. All of that. That's what you speak over. Oh, please don't let man bump that. You don't be begging. We don't be, don't be no beggart. You better speak with that power and that intensity because your new beginning is right here. This is the heart of the matter. Is your new beginning and somebody is trying to block a new beginning, a new opportunity for you. And they ain't blocking nothing because the four wands is here. So this is definitely somebody trying to mess with your money, trying to mess with your stability, your livelihood. You know what I'm saying? This is about your independence, your stability, you being able to stand on your own, too. We got the four of wands here along with the moon. So there's definitely somebody that's really, you know, perturbed, you know, and 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 um just overly concerned with what you have going on and you've blocked this energy. I feel like you are very aware. And so with the seven of wands, I feel like you are blocking this energy out. And we do see that, you know, because with the seven personal growth, I feel like you, you picked up on something. Your spidey senses absolutely let you know, like somebody wasn't about it. Somebody was dead. And we got Foxy Brown singing. I can't right now. Foxy Brown is singing. I can't. And so with fox, foxes are known to be very sly, you know what I'm saying? Very slick, very, you know, sneaky. They they sneaky. And so with this energy, with the moon, this is somebody that you 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 have to be 10 steps ahead of this person. And I feel like you are intuitively, you know, with that two, like I said, the seven and the four is 11, but you reduce it down to two or I do anyway. And that shows that you're the high priestess. So it's like trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. That also shows that somebody could be doing something very conniving as well. And we got this knight of chalices here. So that could be like good news. Somebody coming in with some good news or somebody coming in with an offer. And we got the page of chalices. Somebody could use like emotional manipulation. Somebody like that's literally what. You know, smiling and beguiling is 
you know, somebody smiling in your face and so that you could put your guard down so that you could be more trusting. So you could open up if they just smile and, Oh, hi, how are you? And then you're sitting there like, Oh, okay. I don't have to be defensive, but all that is, is a way for them to wiggle their way in. That's a sneaky old mofo. That's this, the oldest trick in the book is you smile and then you're supposed to be like, Oh, they're okay. No, you got to look behind the smile. You know what I'm talking about? Like, look into their eyes. Can they look at you? Are they looking up, looking around? Like, can they make eye contact? You know what I'm talking about? Like, it, it, it's very, you got to, like, use your intuition. And we got this page of swords here. So somebody is definitely spying on you, definitely clocking your moves. And as I said, you know, that's what a fox does. A fox is very sneaky. So they're going to be watching. That's what all predators do. When they're trying to attack their prey is they watch for a long time before they attack. And that's why that sneaky ass mofo to seven of swords is sneaking in there when they figure you sleeping. So somebody's waiting to to attack because they think you sleeping on them. And that's what somebody does. They'll rock you to sleep and then they attack. So that's a coward. That's a fraud. That's a, somebody that's fugazi. That's somebody that never liked you from the start. That's somebody that played a part just to get you to this point where they can attack where they can defeat you take out you know take you out so we have this um the four of swords here and that's exactly what your energy is with this four of swords i feel like you've been healing and growing and and it's been a very painful circumstance because you've had to discover like you know perhaps people that you trusted people that you um may have you know, um, entrusted with your personal business, people that you thought was there to help you grow, even at your place of employment. Um, maybe you thought you, you was cool with your supervisor until you found something out, but it's like, now you're like in this four swords energy where you're like reflecting, you know, and that's why that ought to know was playing by Atlantis more to set because maybe you're judging yourself based off of what you feel like, damn, I should have saw that. I should have saw that red flag and I did it, you know? And so spirit is like, no, nah, don't, 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 be hard on yourself because your approach was that's just who you are that's your heart but everybody isn't like that we project onto other people who we are you know what i'm saying so because you were so trusting of a person it's because you thought that you was in a safe space and unfortunately somebody exploited that or attempted to because they didn't destroy you because now you at the four swords so it did initially um you know um upset you it did cause some sort of of hiccup but it didn't completely destroy you because with this green perseverance is showing that there's some growth and I feel like the growth had to first start within yourself within you know the the manner in which you showed self-care self-respect like I said you had to show some self-discipline so that's about taking onus but it's you take onus after you learn how to take accountability when you take accountability, it's because you're looking back, reflecting in awareness of where the mistakes were, not so much in pointing blame because nobody can do anything to you. It's what you may allow them to do. So you allowed people to exploit you because, like I said, that's that you when you submit your will, then that's what you're allowing. You're allowing the behavior. So when you teach them people like you're just a damn you know, you, you could be walked all over, trampled over because you're just so kind and loving and just, you know, then then that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to do what you allow them to do. And so now there's this like this growth spurt like, oh, OK, I can't be that that gullible, that naive anymore. I got to come out here and, and, and be more assertive. I got to be out here and, and, and show that confidence and show that that sense of self-discipline and, and respect and integrity for myself, first and foremost. You know, it's self-preservation, you know. So it's like that's why you have showed some perseverance because you realize like it's self-preservation. I got to prioritize me now. You know, and we got um, Kendrick Lamar uh, singing Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. So there's definitely somebody trying to kill your vibe. Like I said, block a blessing, thwart a plan, be a roadblock. And they can't. They cannot. That's your response. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Like you're moving on. You're not allowing anybody to block nothing. Like I said, with this one new beginning, this is you. You're still moving forward. You're still having that new start. And somebody is going to be pissed off about it. Because whatever they thought they was, you know, they thought they was too smart. They thought they were smarter than they were. So now we have this magician and we have personal growth. You see that?
So that is you, the Magi, just like I said, the alchemist. That's you owning your power, knowing how to utilize your power, channeling your power, standing in your power, demanding your respect. That's you setting intention. That's you writing down your manifestations. That's you setting the tone. You're not sitting around no more and allowing anybody to do anything for you, to you. You're doing it. You're setting the intention. You're utilizing that energy as above, so below. You're utilizing the elements around you. Water, fire, earth, and air. You're the one setting the tone. So now you're in your power. This one is you drawing the awareness of how you could change your circumstance by changing your mind. You know what I'm saying? Your mind is a projector. So if you think in a lack mentality or in a victimhood mentality, then that's what you're going to be. That's why I said you don't submit your will and think somebody has power over you. You are all powerful. You are all, um, you know, you are the great I am. In other words, so whatever you say after I am, so, so shall it be. But when you sit in this energy of the magician, this is you manifesting something new. And this is you knowing that you have the power to do so because you've grown personally. Your psychic abilities, like I said, have been amplified. You, your, your spidey senses are tingling more now than ever. You're receiving downloads. You're receiving interventions. You're receiving those transmissions. You're having those lucid dreams. You're having those synchronized events. You're having encounters with beautiful animal totems. You're seeing angel numbers. You're having all these sensations. And this is letting you know you got the power. Truly and, and, and figuratively, you have the power. And this is why there's a lot of hatred. This is why these people can't really touch you. Because as we heard earlier with Prodigy, um, not only are you a prodigy of your time, of your generation, but you're also very mystique. You're very mysterious. There's a mysterious element to you. There's something very, very, um, very, um, it's, it's like, there's something that uh, others have not been able to 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 discover. You know what I'm saying? So there's like there's layers there that others have not yet um, uncovered. And we have here the Queen of Pentacles, and we got the Perseverance. So this is all. This is on the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles, and then we have Patrice Russian singing "Remind Me." So you definitely have persevered, and I feel like you were reminded to stand in your power. Your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, your happiness, for your ability to grow, for your ability to sustain yourself. This is why you've been able to rebuild after something was destroyed, after that tower fell. You rebuilt from a more um more uh evolved perspective you learned from the mistakes as i said a cycle will repeat itself until you complete it and the only way you can complete it is if you really take the time to do that internal work self-discovery until you do that that introspective and reflective work to see you know, perhaps where the errors could have taken place. A lot of people go into instant or, um, yeah, they go into that instant, like, um, defense mode, you know, and sometimes you're defending something wrong. You know, you, you can't just defend the wrong. That's what a narcissist does. They, they refuse to take accountability and they just want to sit in a position of defending their wrongdoing. And it's like, no, you have to have some empathy and, and, and a level of sensitivity to be able to see things from someone else's vantage point and perspective and not just from your own all the time, every day, all day. It's like, so that's what you had to do. That's why this perseverance is here because this is emotional intelligence. You know, this is you with that four and that green, the whole card is green. Four deals, like I said, with the heart chakra. And uh, although there was heartbreak because the four is telling me that you had to heal. We saw the four swords and so that that means there was some healing. Um, but in that healing, you had to go into a deep reflective work. You had to go into deep reflection. You know, that's eternal reflection. Like you had to go into that space where you could see the errors or else you're just going to be walking around out here in La La Land. So I feel like that's how you was able to to come out of this situation Um you know, feeling um, stronger, healthier, um, even growing from the experience. And now you're moving forward. Fours, like I said, are uh, about, you know, your 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 stability, um, your strength. It's about you having that emotional intelligence, that self-love, um, self-care, learning to prioritize you. Um, and I feel like you were reminded uh, to love you more, to love you first. Uh, love was an inside job, so you got to love you. Um, and, and in order 
for you to learn to love you. There was healing that was required. Uh, and the healing was required because there was a lot of disappointment and heartache and betrayal. So now with this queen of pentacles is showing that you're working hard. Like you're, you're independent. You're very down to earth, very nurturing, very caring, loving, and kind. All of the things that I was picking up on, like giving to others, even if you're masculine energy, always sacrificing for other people, um, always being the type of person to give to others, to look out for other people's well-being, but never really, you know, having that reciprocated back to you. But I feel like that's what made you more uh, emotionally intelligent um, is your ability to first heal yourself and and really learn, like, you know, some people um, know not what they do. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, hurt. So hurt people are going to hurt people. Um, you was once hurt and you could have been out here hurting other people because you was hurt. But what you did was you healed and you grew. And now you are someone who can um, help others through your more evolved perspective opposed to hurt, you know, um, hurting other people because you've yet to heal from the past hurt. So it's like you're not perpetuating the hurt, the trauma um, any longer. You know, you're not doing that. And so I do feel like um, there is this energy now where you are in this position where you're more focused on um, focused on moving, moving forward, um, cultivating, uh, you know, stronger relationships, um, really uh, developing stronger, more meaningful relationships with people. So let's see. Why is perseverance here for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light spirit? Why is perseverance here? May I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. Why is perseverance here? May I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have the five of pentacles. So that's powerful. So you got the four perseverance and then you got the five of pentacles. And if you look at this, the five of pentacles is depicted on the dark grimoire as a gentleman who has... Um, almost like he's looking at a situation from the outside um, looking in now. Um, next to him is uh, a bottle, which could have been like addictions and afflictions. It looks like a liquor bottle. But this is somebody who was under um, some sort of spell, I feel. Um, the devil is very... Um, very beguiling, uh, a trickster, uh, very deceptive, and someone was under the influence of something that they could have been addicted to. So maybe someone was drinking too much, um, but now they're like reevaluating re a situation. And with this perseverance, I do feel like this is someone, um, you know, that was once being led astray because what he's looking at is there seems to be like a flock of people that are hooded. And then there seems to be like this monster that looks very much like an octopus. Um, but it has tentacles and it looks almost like a snake. So these are these are people that, you know, are very sneaky, snaky, um, very much like, you know, uh, con artists, just people you can't really trust, especially the, the people that are hooded. You can't see their face. So these are like false people. This person could have been you know, under um, the influence of these individuals. And now he's reflecting and looking, uh, like I said, from the outside looking in, and he's starting to see uh, what he was once, you know, what he was once under the influence of. And I just want to show you because I don't know if my description of this card is really, um, you know, ringing at home for you, but this is what it looks like. And you've somehow persevered through this. So you've had someone that was very deceptive around you, um, very sneaky, someone trying to lead you astray. These were people that you thought you could trust. And now you're seeing them for what they truly were. As I simply said earlier, we got a uh, ramp singing daylight. So the daylight is very illuminating. The daylight reveals things that were once hidden. When you in the nighttime, everything is hidden. It's dark. You can't see. But in the daylight, it's like the epiphany. It's like that illumination, that that aha moment. And that's exactly what this uh, m this um, masculine energy is having um, once he has uh, kind of like cleared his mind. As I said, when you're under the influence of uh, negative people, um, you know, you could be led astray. You could be manipulated. And I feel like now there's some clarity on that. And I feel like that's why the four perseverance is here, because there's had to be some healing um, after discovering that these individuals were, in fact, frauds. You know, these were fugazis. These were people that didn't have good intentions, that weren't trying to, um, you know, be 
uh, genuine, they were definitely frauds. They were definitely uh, duping you, bamboozling you. And I feel like that's why the healing is there because now you have taken your power back and now you're more independent. So if these were codependencies, if this was, you know, some, some really negative attachments, uh, connections that you had, you no longer are influenced by these individuals. And so we have the emperor here and the new beginning. Um, and that's exactly what this emperor is all about. This is about taking action, standing in your power, doing things your way. Um, we got, um, we have uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, and this is called I Want You. So there could be, you know, divine masculine, uh, if your feminine energies, or even if your masculine energy, there could be a divine feminine that really wants you, wants a new chance, new opportunity, wants to reconcile, resusc resuscitate a connection, uh, because this is new beginnings here, and the emperor is on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is like that masculine, this could even be that boss that I was picking up on, that's trying to uh, block some new opportunity um, as well. Uh, because I was picking up on some of you all like applying for promotions, new opportunities. And then there's like the boss that's like looming over trying to sabotage or trying to, um, you know, set up a roadblock. Uh, but I do feel like you, this new beginning is coming regardless because that one new beginning is there. This boss, whoever this is, is a uh, very uh, negative. This is somebody that sits around all day. And, and just conjures up some shit to make people's lives miserable. They walk around all day saying, I'm the boss, I'm the supervisor, it's my way or the house. They just take pride in, you know, making other people's lives miserable. Um, this is somebody that does not have any empathy, compassion in their heart, very cold blooded. Um, this is someone that gets really fired up. Um, but I feel this is what that energy was that I was picking up on with a boss. And that's what the emperor is. That could be like a boss. That could be a supervisor. That could be a team lead. That could be somebody that's trying to, um, and this person wants you. Like, I don't think they want you in a good way. Like they want to get you. They, they're trying to stop like whatever this new beginning is for you. They're, they are out to get you. And we did see that with the seven of swords where they was like, you know, they, they, they don't let your guard down around this person and definitely protect yourself um definitely do some protective um work you know you got to protect yourselves like i said speak that you know there could be some psalms you need to repeat um there's one psalm uh for promotion cometh not by day oh, wait for promotion cometh not by from the east nor from the west nor from the south but god god is the judge he putteth down one and sets up another i know that's one of the psalms um in my book of Psalms, I think I'm going to start making videos to include some powerful prayers um, so that you all can start utilizing them. Um, so we have the eight of pentacles. See that? So something you've worked hard for. The eight of pentacles is clarifying the one new beginning. So this is something you've bust your ass for. And this old miserable ass person is trying to cause some sort of tower. They're trying to cause something, some sort of um, block like I was picking up. You've worked for this. This is for you. Whatever this is, spirit, notice how hard you've been working. And it's like, well, for whatever reason, they got it out for you. Somebody really has it out for you or somebody is just really jealous and they're spying and they're watching. Somebody could really be trying to steal your ideas, steal your material. Uh, somebody could be trying to take credit for work you're doing. Um, with this energy, I feel like it's like spirit sees just how hard you've been working, how much you've been, um, how much intention you've been putting towards something. And someone is really trying to prevent you from having some sort of fresh new start. And that new start could, in fact, be a promotion, um, a pay increase. Uh, they're trying to block you from, you know, having some sort of success here. And with this eight of pentacles, the eight of pentacles is like somebody with the eye of the tiger. You know what I'm saying? You're not even studying nobody else. You focused on your craft. You're focused on your skill. You're focused on elevating. And for whatever reason, this person feels threatened by you. Um, and we got the tower in the bottom of the deck. So there is going to be an explosive ending or some sort of ending. And I feel like this ending is going to be somebody's karma. There's an ending of a, a very powerful ending that tower represents scorpionic energy and i feel like people get afraid of the tower but this is 
spirit stepping in to blow up the tower so that all that's hidden can be revealed. So as I said, sometimes you got to ask the most high to reveal your enemies because you may have some people that are snakes that are smiling in your face and all the while they're trying to take your place because this is the energy that I was picking up on and I picked up on it initially in that Yang reading and now it's like spilling over into this reading for the collective. So you all need to do some like you need to take some um you know some damn um 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 you need to assess your circle you need to really assess your circle you need to assess the people around you even if this is a supervisor um you need to be very mindful of what you're telling your supervisor don't tell them oh i'm looking for a position in this area or i want to do this some some things you got to do on your own and you ask your angels and guides for the means to get it done because if you go into your supervisor telling them your plans, they're trying to thwart them, period. They're not trying to help you get out of the department that you despise. Even in your one-to-ones, when you have enough meetings with your supervisors, you don't reveal everything. Even though they say, this is an open panel, this is open floor, we can discuss anything. And they talk all that retaliation, um, you know, um, protection and all of that ish. I done seen them sit around and, and zone in on this one sister at my job right now. And this girl didn't quit her job before they could fire her. And it's because the supervisor did not like her. She went to uh, HR to complain about another employee. And what they did was they teamed up against this girl, teamed up against her and wrote her up for all kind of dumb ish. And she was basically forced out of her position Two weeks ago, just forced out during a freaking recession. Who's quitting their jobs at a re in a recession? So it's just like they talk all of that, you know, um, retaliation, protection ish. Don't don't fall into the trap. You know, this is still corporate America. So I feel definitely for many of you all, protect yourselves. You know, protect yourselves. And we have um, who is this? This is Alina, and this is called Pretty Thoughts. Pretty Thoughts. So yeah. Um, with this tower, uh, yeah, I don't feel somebody got pretty thoughts. I feel like they got some nasty thoughts. I feel like you, the way you can overcome this situation is by not thinking negatively about your situation and stay in a positive high vibration. Um, as I said, you speak as if you already have what it is you're calling in. That's how, that's a quick way to manifest. And you, you feel those sensations, those feelings as if you have it as well. You know, um, instead of saying, I want such and such, you say, I have, I love my new job. I love my new supervisor. I have an amazing supervisor, very down to earth, very caring, very compassionate. You know what I'm saying? They're not all about numbers, whatever it is that you, you know, you may be facing now, you speak the opposite of what you are going to, what you, um, desire to receive or what you desire to manifest. You set that that intention for it and it shall be yours it's already yours you just got to claim it beloveds it's already yours that's a part of the process that's why I say we got to sometimes we got to unlearn some of the, the ways in which uh, we've been taught things and my throat is getting blocked again so that spirit you know telling me that somebody's trying to block this message too somebody's trying to really block the message the, the messages that's coming through because this for some of you all whoever's out here dealing with some old negative nasty um supervisor or somebody who's you know in their um career whatever it is they're trying to block it's like this is somebody that definitely doesn't want you uh to catch wind of how to protect yourself and so we got this uh four wands right underneath that so definitely every ending denotes a new beginning so after this explosive ending i feel like there's going to be a lot of stability because i feel like spirit is moving you know, all of this toxicity out of your way. This is like the deep cleansing. This is like purification. You know what I'm talking about? Like they say after, you know, uh, um, you know, say for instance in the forest, after the trees burn, they say the earth is more purified. You know what I'm saying? That the, the burnt earth really is purified and it becomes strengthened and stronger. And so the trees that are to grow and the grass that is to grow thereafter will be just as, you know, it will flourish. And so I feel like that's pretty much what you all are are um, going to experience with this tower moment. This tower is really telling you that the ending of this cycle is, is just going to thrust you into a very beautiful and magnificent time, you know, and, and, and they don't want you to be disgruntled and they don't want you to take on that attitude of someone who is a victim because that's really a, a part of the trickery um, and in people's magic is you believe and they got the power. 
You know, you got to believe you're the power. You're you're the one that's posi- that's powerful, not the other way around. Not that supervisor. Just because they got that role doesn't mean they got the robe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They are not, uh, you know, super. They're not Superman. They're they, no. They're a mere mortal with a title. Just like you have a job, and somebody could determine whether you're here tomorrow or not. They have a job. And they have, a, a, I mean, a, um, a, a, a boss and the same thing is applicable. So as long as you speak your intentions, as long as you know your power and as long as you do what you have to do to protect yourself, trust me, you're good. And they don't want you to be disgruntled. Smile and forgive them all, beloved. That's what people who are in the power. That's what people who are master manifestors, alchemists know. They know they have the power. They possess the power. They are fully aware of what they have. And that is the ability to persevere over anything that comes their way. Because you've learned that you have the ability to do so. With this number seven personal growth, you've already learned, like, you got the power. Especially with that magician uh, clarifying that. So you you have to own it now. It's deeper than just saying, I got the power and writing down. And you got to own that ish, you know. And so we have Oshun singing brown. And brown is about grounding yourself. Like I said, some of y'all got to meditate to get it straight. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all need to do perform like a release, uh, you know, ritual because we have forgiveness here. 96 that I'm about to clarify. So a lot of y'all need to show forgiveness, you know, um, because as I said, a lot of people know not what they do. And you don't want to be walking around out here with contempt in your heart based off of some old crazy um, mofos, you know, hurt people, hurt people. And and some people just foolish enough to be out here perpetuating the hurt opposed to trying to, you know, lay them healing hands, you know. And so we got the Ten of Pentacles. They ain't stopping nothing. See that? They're going to try to entice you. You got the strength card that just flew out along with the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is about victories. And there's a, the way the Six of Wands is depicted, and I just want to show y'all so you can see. So Spirit is telling you to use your intuition first and foremost. Because there is going to be someone that tries to um, to manipulate you, dupe you, gaslight you, make you believe that, you know, they're making some sort of um, offer you can't refuse. If you see this person here on the end card, it's like he's trying to offer this gentleman something. But this gentleman is not accepting because it's like he's learned the lesson. You can't dupe somebody that's already, you know. That has, you know, elevated, that's ascended, you know, into their power. Somebody that's spiritually aligned and spiritually strong. This 96 forgiveness, that is the six. The, the six is, you know, dealing with the, the first eye. So someone is too, too sharp. That's why if you look at this gentleman, his hands are straight down. He's not accepting nothing that this hooded person. Now, remember the five of pentacles. I told you that there was hooded people and I'm going to show you so you could see. So this is one of the hooded people trying to double back around, trying to convince someone. And that's why Brown is playing, because this is about staying grounded, remaining balanced. So you see how this five pentacles, the five of pentacles is the gentleman in the alley looking on to the people in the robe. And so now you look to the side and the six of wands, one of the robe people done found the man that has, you know, picked himself up, cleaned himself up, done, sm you know, leveled up. And he's trying to be offered something that this person knows is um, isn't a good offer. So it's like this person is trying to is try, the, the hooded individual is trying to dupe this person into accepting something. And that's why I said you can't submit your will. You know, don't accept anything. His hands are straight down. He is not accepting anything that person has to offer because he knows there's there's some sort of underlying um there's something underlying about it. There's something that is a very saboteur, if you will. And so with this strength, he, he's strong enough to see through the bull crap. That's also speaking to one's um, intuition and discernment. First eyes wide open. He could see through the, through the nonsense. You know, he doesn't look the devil in the face himself and knows the nonsense, knows the game. And we got on the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. So this, this is somebody trying to... Um, you know, trying to sabotage this this uh, financial blessing, this stability, this security with the leadership. I definitely feel like you are about to come into a beautiful breakthrough, victory, some sort of success, some sort of beautiful offer. And we got um, Sybil, don't make me over. And this is leadership. So, yeah, this is you saying, like, accept me as I am. Don't try to make me into something I'm not. And this is really about people projecting yet again. 
you know don't make me over don't try to make me into something i am not just because you don't see my beauty that means that's that's your limited ability like you, you like as i said earlier you know sometimes you project who you are and what you are unto other people because that's your scope you know what i'm saying so that could be a good thing and a bad thing and somebody is really like you know um i feel threatened you know somehow by you threatened by the way that you're received threatened by your power threatened by your growth threatened by your strength threatened by your your determination your drive your will even your spirituality your mystique spirit why is the leadership card here for my scorpios we have a message of love and light and you see how nothing is coming out this is what i mean like this person is truly truly trying to block something and so we have the six of swords moving on moving on to bigger and better this is you moving on to bigger and better and we got the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck so there's something destined for you like i said what is meant for you it cannot be blocked the only way it could be blocked is if you believe somebody has the power to block it so you could believe that or you could believe that whatever is meant for you is yours that it's your birthright to live in abundance opulence to have expansion and growth and optimum health and wellness and happiness and contentment in your life or you could believe that this stupid ass person at your job has the power to block your blessings and block opportunities and stunt your growth like nah like which one is it you god or you or not nah? like like you're made in the image. So that means that is t very telling of your ability to, you know, take ownership and and to channel that energy um, to, you know, set the, the intention. You know, that's truly what the alchemist and the mag magi does. The magician does set the intention, you know, and what you think you create. Your mind acts as a projector. So if you constantly speak in that lack ish, that's what you're going to manifest more into your life. But with this six of swords and the number 81, leadership i definitely feel like you're moving on to something bigger and better the six of swords is moving away from the drama the trauma the negativity the six of swords is really about you making a very powerful move forward and there's there's stability there there's like this sense of peace and tranquility you know this is really you making a very conscious thought and we got um who is this and we have naji bet you don't know so, yeah, this this definitely with don't know. I feel like nobody's going to um, see this coming. I feel like supervisors are not going to see this coming because they're not you're not revealing anything. I feel like you don't even see this coming because there's something that's really coming in for you. And I feel like you're going to be very surprised, you know, and look at this. The devil on the split along with the sun. See that? Look at this. I can't make this up. I'm about to clarify these cards and look what came out. If I can show you. Look at this devil. I told you the devil was right there lurking. And sure enough, there, I did the split on the card. As soon as I picked up the deck, this is what I see. See how you have this happiness, this growth, this joy, this peace, and somebody's trying to rain on your parade. Literally piss on your head and tell you it's raining outside. And that's because they're miserable. And look what's underneath the devil is the seven of swords. They're trying to dupe you. They're wearing a mask. I can't make this ish up. And and it's like you are very, very aware. That's why that... um. That six of wands card showed the gentleman with his hand straight down while that hooded person was trying to offer him something. And it's because you're very in tune. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you're, like I said earlier, like your, your, your higher self is speaking to you. You're receiving those transmissions, downloads, divine interventions. It's like you're amplified. Your spidey senses are going off and for a reason. And it's not a coincidence that I said your spidey senses. And if you look at that devil card, there's like a spider web right bef in front of the um in front of the devil and i just want to show you i just shuffled my card so i literally got to find it i said your spidey senses and if you look at this card there's a spider web right at the bottom right in front nothing can stop you you're going to have a victory this is what this person this is why it's like i feel like this per you don't even see this coming i feel like whatever these people are doing it's like it's not going to work because you got the six of wands. They're going to have to sit and watch you bask in all of your glory. They're going to have to watch you succeed. These are people that are like secretly hating, but they are going to have no choice but to um, celebrate, you know, because I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight. There's going to be some sort of, um, you know, you're rece receiving some sort of recognition. You know, maybe you're going to trend. Maybe you're going to, you know, receive some sort of acclimate, you know, um, accolade rather but this is like um very powerful so i see the judgment here 
So spirit is saying that there's some some situation from your past, like you're going to have to make a judgment call, you know, and maybe you've made the judgment call. You know, there's definitely some um, decision that you've had to make with the judgment is telling me that this is like rooted in something karmic. And as I said, a karmic lesson is to be completed, not repeated. And I feel like you trusted your intuition and you did what you had to do, set intention to change your circumstance. And so maybe if there were people, you know, maybe you've learned from the past mistakes and we got this page of pentacles here. And so this page of pentacles is showing me that there are going to be some offers. But the page is also saying like, you know, you, you are coming up with new ideas to to change your circumstance with that for the perseverance that we're about to clarify along with the five of pentacles and then we got the page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck in my hand this is telling me that this is you not only reflecting on the situation and seeing things for what they truly are but this is you also with the page of pentacles saying okay i have to change this circumstance and you taking the necessary steps so this is you coming up with a whole new plan, devising a, a whole new plan, you know, to, to, uh, build your worth, you build your self-worth, but also, uh, build that sense of independence that was once stripped from you because now you, you know, in this energy, you feel left out in the cold, you feel abandoned. You feel like the, the, y y your, your, your stream is, 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 um, blocked or closed up. But here, you know, with this page of pentacles, this is you devising a brand new plan. This is you saying, OK, I got another trick up my sleeve. I got another um, means and method, new way to to, you know, to generate some sort of income. And then right next to these cards, the the four of uh, perseverance and the five of pentacles. Remember, we got new beginning and we have that eight of pentacles. So it's like whatever you started to work on. You know, whatever it is that you started to really invest your time and energy into, it's like you it literally took off. That's the eye of the tiger. That's that eye of the prize, having your eyes on the prize. So why is four perseverance, the five of pentacles here for my beloved Scorpios? They have a message of love and light spirit. Why is the four per perseverance? Thank you, spirit. That actually flew out on the floor. And look what we have. I'm not going to make look at this. The nine of pentacles flew out. Nine of Pentacles just flew out. So this is absolutely what I said. Your independence, getting your independence back, working very hard. This is you very diligent, very focused, in a studious energy. Eye of the tiger, like I said, got your eyes on the prize, and you've made some sort of success. So you was once in a very uh, codependent connection, codependent relationship. You was being led astray, you know, and these were these were snakes. These were people that were for, that were false people. They were fake fugazis. They were speaking with a forked tongue, trying to lead you astray, trying to lead you off your path. And you had to refocus. You turned that thought into reality because you started to search within yourself to discover what your passions were. You prioritize your needs. So whatever was kind of like, as I said, like um, erupting within you, whatever was lying dormant started to erupt within you, your passions, your dreams. You started to ask those questions. And now it's like you reached the nine of pentacles. What? That's crazy. Look at that. And then we got the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I told y'all, y'all got some sort of wish fulfillment, a blessing. And there's an angel overseeing this. So it's like not only do you have financial blessings coming in, but I feel like you're going to be a part of a family. There's going to be some sort of um, family dynamic. This is a legacy, building a legacy, building a family, having that compromise with a person, having a very solid union, connection, commitment, relationship, building an alliance, a partnership. This is planting seeds and roots. This is joy. Joy. This is you having uh, angels and ancestors that are aligning you with the right person. And this also is speaking to new opportunities because this eight of pentacles, which is what we're about to um, clarify along with the um, new beginning, number one, is showing that your hard work eventually pays off. So all of that hard work does get acknowledged by your angels. Like I said, your angels see just how hard you're working. And you could see the angel right here watching. The angels are watching over you. The angels are protecting you. And this is beautiful. And we got the notorious B.I.G. Some of you all could be writing books. You could be penning a novel. You could be writing a self-help book. You are writing and penning something and you're working very hard to get it published. You could go to Amazon. Some of y'all could um, publish your books on Amazon. There's actually, if you click on um, Google and you type uh, publishing by Amazon, you could literally have them do all the footwork. Of course, you'll have to edit your books and all of that, but you could go through that process to get your book published on Amazon at no cost to you opposed to paying people 
thousands of dollars to do it, you know, to go to some random publisher. Why not go to Amazon? Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of, you know, some sort of um, fee that they may take from it. I don't know the process personally, but I did look it up because I have dreams of penning my own book one day. So that could be helpful to some of you all that may not know that. But I do feel like many of you all with this, I got a tor story to tell by Notorious B.I.G. Some of y'all are working very diligently on a book, on a novel, on a self-help book, um, you know, really trying to help people, trying to impart wisdom to folks, trying to help them become better versions of themselves. That could be your task talent that you've been sharpening that could be your skill that you are to share with the you know to with the collective um and I do feel like you're going to um receive a beautiful blessing for doing so so why is this one new beginning um even if that's not a book per se even if it's your music music uh provides a story it, it is it is um very timeless you know it's soul i mean some of you all are making soul music and here goes the high priestess i mentioned the high priestess and so this is definitely some of you all could be sharpening your skills in your um in the arena of like your psychic abilities clairvoyant abilities um some of you all know success is following whatever hard work that you've put forth this also is telling me that there's someone very cunning this uh, high priestess that's trying to block something um, that's meant for you uh, because they see your quality. They see your potential. The star is in the bottom of the deck in my hand. So they know that you're a star. They know you're uh, meant to shine bright and they're trying to dim your light out of jealousy, out of malice. You know, this high priestess could be someone very, very sneaky, somebody that could be also uh, doing some sort of um magic or doing something to block uh some sort of opportunity and 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 this high priestess because you could use their powers for good or for bad um and that's why i was picking up that you all need to really protect yourselves with this star i definitely feel like a lot of you all have been walking in faith and a lot of you all have been praying you've been setting up prayers petitions you've been speaking those daily mantras affirmations writing in your journals you've been setting the intention and i feel like there is a wish fulfillment coming in and i feel like this person is definitely looking at you as a star there's some sort of secret competition or some sort of jealousy associated with your ability to heal the star is really somebody who has turned their pain into power somebody who's very balanced very grounded um, in alignment with their higher self in alignment with their spiritual self um, someone who's also um, you know really has um accepted you know their their vulnerabilities and turned them into superpowers uh somebody who has really learned to to um to channel their inner alchemist you know the star is an alchemist and they do co-create with source and so someone definitely sees uh as i said earlier like how mystic you know how mysterious you know this sense of mysterious there's layers and the high priestess is also very mysterious uh but this is someone very uh cunning i just get a very sneaky energy because you see whenever somebody's head is turned but their eyes are still watching that's somebody like spying on you i always get that sense somebody that's like you know acting like they're not watching but they are or somebody who's um you know, who has like an ulterior motive, I always feel, and they're watching you work hard. They're watching you, you know, work hard enough to be granted that new uh, promotion to, it's not like you just sitting around asking for stuff you haven't worked for. So it's like, this is what they're doing. They're trying to act like they don't see, but they're watching. They're, they're, they're watching. They're, they're probably watching you even off, off the clock. If you're the type who shared personal information you know what I'm saying? And and said, oh, by the way, I have a YouTube channel. They could be watching and stalking your YouTube. If you say, oh, I got Instagram and you know how people love sharing their, uh, you know, Instagram information or their social media information to their colleagues. And, you know, I never do that. I, I don't even have Facebook, but I don't I don't ever feel that comfortable with my peers at my place of employment to be just giving them all access to my life. Like, nah, nah, get out of here. Nope, you'll never know what I got going on in my personal life other than the things I don't mind telling you. You know what I'm saying? And so with this star, you're definitely seen as a star. And that star is someone who is just very open. It's like you you, you take me as I am or leave me alone. The star is very confident. She's butt naked. 
but she's very confident. She's standing there like she got on, you know, a robe and, and a crown and she knows her worth. She knows her power um, and she's fearless nonetheless. So why is this 96 um, forgiveness? The six of wands and the strength card here for my beloved Scorpios may have a message of love and light. And so we have the page of pentacles. So this is showing like, you know, you literally worked from the ground up to get to this place. And now somebody wants to come in and sabotage, you know, you're literally here, you know, they're trying to offer you something because the last time we saw this card was when we was, um, you know, clarifying the page. I mean, the uh, four perseverance and the five of pentacles that showed up. So this is someone very cunning, trying to connive you, trying to like offer you like pennies, trying to offer you, you know, peanuts when you know your worth. So it's almost like spirit is saying, like if somebody comes in and, and they try to um, offer you something that you know you're 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 deserving of more don't accept it because this is a small offer compared to what you deserve especially with all that hard work so it's almost like spirit is saying know your worth know your value um i also feel like somebody tried to to um sell you short as well and that's why forgiveness is here uh because some people are ignorant somebody's trying to sell you something um and and spirit is just saying don't accept it because they could do better you know um they could definitely do better. Know your worth and value and don't back down. And we got the seven of wands on the bottom of the deck. And we're about to clarify 81 leadership and the um, six of swords here. And so the seven of wands is all about not backing down, setting up healthy boundaries, not letting anyone overstep those boundaries. This is about you being in a very protective space, a protective bubble. Don't disturb this groove. I'm busy. And that's because you've learned your worth, your value with the 81 leadership. So you're, you know, you've learned to delegate, you know, you've learned to divvy out some of the responsibilities. You're not going to do everything on your own. You've also learned who you can trust, who you can have around you, who you can um, allow in, you know, because now you, you know, you have that awareness. And so with this um, energy of the seven of wands, I just feel like you're more um, you're more balanced and you're moving, you're blocking out what no longer serves you. And with the six of swords, you're just, you're going after what you truly desire, what you truly require now. Like you're not settling, you're not selling yourself short. So we have two cards that just flew out. We got the knight of wands. You're bolting your ass up out of there and going after your dreams, after your desires and the nine of cups. See that? So don't accept just any old measly offer. Um, this is also like that knight of wands is something that you can't really depend upon, you know? And the tower is on the bottom of the deck yet again. And we had the wheel of fortune. See that? So something that's destined for you, you have to hold out for it. Because I feel like somebody's going to make some sort of measly offer, as we saw here clearly, uh, with the six of swords, with the dark memoir. And then we also see this page of pentacles. Why is the page popping up? And you already made, you know, you already got the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. And so it's like, no, don't don't accept just any old offer, uh, measly offer. You got to know your own worth. With this Knight of Wands, I feel like there is definitely something that you cannot really depend upon, something that's very flighty, and you have to be... Um you have to know when to leave. You got to know when it's time to escape a situation. Uh, we got this nine of cups. So this is really about you having um, something beautiful that's coming in. Somebody was trying to um, really trying to block you because if you look, there is a masculine that's like he can't get past this snake you know, and, um, that snake is very indicative of, you know, that person trying to stand in the way of something beautiful. Um, remember the star was depicted as a naked woman. And if you look in the waters, um, there is a, you know, this naked woman there. So I feel like this is saying that this person, uh, is really trying to block, you know, some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of, um, answered prayer. And you have to learn how to, um, get past it. So you got to use your intuition. And I feel you do because with the six of swords and it's clarified by uh, a clarifying the nine leadership, it's like you got to own your power now. You know, that's why that strength card claim came out right next to it. It's like now you got to own your power. Now you know who the frauds are, who the snakes are. People are revealing themselves. Some of you all may have said in your prayers to reveal my enemies and people are showing up in your dreams. People are popping up like thoughts. Like I said, I've had a lot of 
things popping up to me in these past couple of um, weeks, uh, people, and it's just very disheartening. Um, but it's necessary to do that because you could be wasting your energy and your time and your love, you know, on the wrong folks. And we got um, Donnell Jones singing this love. So you could be really waste, wasting your love on the wrong people. And I feel like with this Knight of Wands, a lot of y'all was dealing with people who wasn't fully all in. Like they was flighty. They was unreliable. You couldn't really trust their word, couldn't really trust them to do what they say they was going to do. And a lot of them were also blocking you from opportunities, as we see with the Nine of Cups and um it was just an uphill battle i feel like you was really battling it out with 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 snakes but you have an opportunity i want to get a second a third card here why is um the knight of wands and this knight of cups here because i do feel like you have wish fulfillment here you know you have some wish fulfillment that's coming in regardless of what these people are trying to do and we got the king of swords here and we also have see that the knight. okay so now we have this um Knight of Pentacles. So there is going to be a blessing showered upon you. It's it's taking its time because good things take time to create, you know, and nine is the highest number of change. And because it's taken you some time to heal thyself, love thyself. Now, you know, that self It's like now that you know your worth, it's like you're bolting away from anything that was trying to sell you short. Um, you're fleeing. I feel like you're fleeing that energy and you're now accepting more accepting of what you're deserving. So now this, it could come in. So so now that you know your worth and your value, now those things can come to you. Now you're attracting it to you. Because as I said, this naked woman on the Nine of Cups um, in this body of water is reminding me of the star that we just saw. And so I feel like, you know, somebody was truly trying to block your blessings because you could see clearly the snake in between the masculine and that feminine energy. So there is someone trying to um, be very sneaky. Uh, very deceptive, you know, a trickster, if you will. And remember that devil. So trust your spidey senses, your intuition. Trust that inner gumption, um, Scorpios. Uh, Shay. So let's go ahead. We're going to get a couple more messages. We're going to pull some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Shay. So spirit, divine spirit of love and light. What messages do you have? Why is the, you know what? Spirit is telling me that the, that we are good to go. I'm going to get probably, okay, how many messages should I get? I'm going to pull five messages to clarify the each card, and then we're going to wrap it up. So one just jumped out. It says, master your crafts, sharpen your sword. So this is coming out after power, um, after personal growth, magician, and judgment. So that's what a lot of you all have been doing, mastering your craft. I did say that and sharpen your swords, swords. So we got shift happens on the bottom of the deck. So absolutely, you know, after you go through those karmic lessons, after you go through those cycles and you grow, you level up, you evolve, you mature. It's like then you get into a very uh, studious space. Now you're very, um, in, very much in a space where you're, you're, you're trying to channel all of that energy, all that power. And so I feel like a lot of you all um, really focused on mastering something sharpening your skills, gifts, talents. Um, so why is this four of perseverance, the five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here for my beloved Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light. So we got a couple of messages. It says attention whore. See that? So y'all was dealing with an attention whore. That's why you had to heal. Lion ass, the truth ain't in you. And spiritually guided, divinely protected just came out. So just as I said, these are the people that was attention whores. These are people that were lying to you, trying to lead you astray. And I feel like, you know, spirit definitely protected you because it says spiritually guided, divinely protected. Let me show you that card as well. Spiritually guided, divinely protected here. And then we got this here. How can I hold all three cards? I'm trying to show y'all. I'm trying to show y'all. So you see that? See that energy? Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. But I just, I'm, I'm trying to show you to, because I don't know if what I'm saying is giving you the visual that you need in your mind's eye. So, um, but with the attention whore, lion ass, y'all was definitely dealing with people who thrived off of the attention that you gave them. And I feel as you started to pull your energy back and focus more on yourself, these people were really, they didn't know what to do with themselves. They were very antsy. 
you know, and so these were people that were closer than just your friends. This could have been family members. These could have been people you spend more time um, with than your family, which are your colleagues, people you work with. People don't realize that you spend more time with your colleagues, your peers than you do with your own family. And so I definitely feel like with this energy here, you were spiritually guided to, um, you know, take a long look at these connections, at these relationships, because these individuals were not who you thought they were. They were trying to pretend like they were closer than your friends. So they was trying to act like they were family, trying to act like they loved you, that they cared according to surface. But these people beneath the surface were very much um, very contemptual. They had hatred. They were very, um, very angry, very jealous, very envious of you. And so look at this. No bad energy. We got no bad energy here on the bottom of the deck. So with the new beginning, this is you with the eight of pentacles, the new beginning and the high priestess. I feel like a lot of you all we're starting to pick up on the negative energy on the people that were really trying to sabotage situations that were trying to have you caught up um in some sort of you know trap trying to block blessings and i feel like that's why spirit is telling you it's time to move on because with no bad energy it's like you are trying to flee from that energy you're trying to flee from those relationships from them circumstances as well my mouth is super dry. So with no bad energy, I do feel like y'all started to protect yourselves and really went into that space where you were a master in your crafts, just as the card said when we first pulled it out, because the eight of pentacles is really about you know, having that eye on the prize, like you're really working towards something, working very hard. You're not um, allowing yourselves to be distracted by the outside world, by the chatter of other people. It's like you're in a very focused mode, focused zone. And so we have drink here too much. So you wasn't bothered too much by what other people was doing, what they had going on, because you was focused. But I feel like these people were very focused on you. So we got to turn that frown upside down. So this is what you did to get out of a state of depression or even out of a state of you know, maybe even sadness um, was you just said, you know what, I'm a channel that energy into something um, very powerful because that's what turning pain into power is. I feel like you realize the divinity of that divine feminine and masculine was to create, was to be creative, was to tap into your artistry, was to, you know, pen that book, um, was to master that craft, was to learn to sing or learn to play that instrument or whatever uh, skill you was um, directed towards. Uh, that's what you did. That's what led to you uh, finding that peace, you know, that solitude also. Um, and we got hidden in plain sight. So we absolutely see that there were things that was right underneath your nose um, that you could have been blaming yourselves for because we're about to clarify forgiveness 96 along with the six of wands, which was the gentleman trying to offer something and the hands are straight down like, nah, you keep that, I'm good. And then the strength card where this feminine energy is facing this demon head on and this page of pentacles. So something was hidden in plain sight, some sort of offer that was given to you. It was like you may have accepted it um, or you could have accepted it, but you didn't. Because you see, you feel, you sense something, you know, you see with your first eye that something isn't right because that 96 reduces to 15, which is six. That's your first eye. So it's like you could detect something's not right. So something's hidden right in front of your eyes. And that's why his hands are straight down because he's not accepting this, this very uh, suspicious offer. Um, it just doesn't feel right. It's not sitting right in the spirit. And there's a spiritual strength that that's, um, you know, encouraging um, this masculine. So why is this um, 96? Thank you, spirit. Oh, wow. Hidden in plain sight came right back out. This is crazy. So too much. So it's like you didn't have to think about this too much. You was going according to your feelings. Like I said, there was this this sixth sense, this this little inner gumption. There was something that nudged you, something that was kind of pulling you um, to reassess, to you know, observe a little longer. And, and I feel like that's what you're doing here with this feminine energy. She's facing this monster. You're seeing somebody for the monster that they are, for the snake that they are. And we have, I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is, I love you. So that's what's on the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be so obsessed um, toward, you know, towards you. They think that their love is, um, that it's love and it's really obsession. I'm getting, because, you know, with too much, I don't know. I feel like you had to love yourself. 
you know, with leadership here, you know, like I said, love is an inside job and nobody can love you if they out here scheming and scamming. That's not love. That's obsession, beloved. That's not even love. And so it says you are unlike anyone I've ever met or dealt with. And this could be the root cause of the obsession that I was picking up on because that devil showed up for a reason. You know, and the devil represents, you know, um, everything in the shadow. You know, the devil um, card is pretty much the mirror to the lovers, you know, and the lovers is love. You know, the devil is something, you know, there, there's something, you know, remiss about that. It's not love. There is distance. I feel like you definitely created distance. I do feel like some of you all will be um, moving on to something different, moving on to a different opportunity. My right hand is starting to itch and they say that's money. So I feel like some of you all have some money coming because y'all bossed up and made a decision to leave um, a particular job, leave a circumstance alone. Um, I definitely feel like with this um travel card on the bottom of the deck along with the you are unlike anyone I've ever met or dealt with I do feel like there is um, someone offering you something someone is going to see your unique abilities qualities skills someone is going to see that you're an asset um, someone is going to be willing to uh, pay you what you're worth and then some there is someone coming in to offer you uh, blessings. I feel like there's someone coming in because if you look, you got the nine of cups along with the, um, the knight of pentacles. And the way this is depicted is like, he's just like throwing money. You know, this is somebody like really throwing money your way. So whoever was trying to block you, I feel like they're not blocking ish because the blessings are going to still come and it's coming because you have to move on. So some of you all are going to have to, and this is you, uh, me, myself and I, you, we got Q tip playing you. So this is you who is listening, you who is tuning in. Um, it's up to you. The choice is yours is what I'm hearing. Uh, someone is going to see you for, um, your skills, for your, for what you can bring to uh, a circumstance you know this is like you have a unique quality there's something unique about you and I feel like that's why there was someone trying to block you that's why I feel like this is the root of the reason why there's envy and jealousy people are jealous of people that they see is shining glowing they see beautiful quality in that person and they lack that and so they project their insecurities onto the other person as if they did something personal to them and all it is is like you got to do your shadow work beloved you know what i'm saying you can't hate on somebody doing their work you know that's why i'd be like look you know some people they use their powers for good and bad um and um others use it for bad and i feel like whoever this is Whatever their intentions are for you, they're going to have to pay for it tenfold. They may have to pay for it infinitely until they get the message. It's like they got to get it. You know what I'm saying? Because in this day and time, karma is coming back around like with the quick fastness. So whatever they're trying to do, if you are as magical and powerful as these cards are saying you are, it's like you're returning that ish right on back to sender. Instantly and infinitely, they're going to have to go through that. And so, you know, protect yourselves. Call in what you want because it's definitely coming in. Nobody can block nothing. If you don't believe they could block it, they won't block it. If you believe some supervisor that's making $10,000 more than you or $5,000 more than you has the power to block something that's divinely ordainedly meant for you, because let's not forget the fortune wheel of fortune card came here. So that means something that's destined for you. And then right underneath that, let me show you this. Look at this. This is this is this is your energy. You are do this. Somebody is spying on your ass nonstop. This page of swords won't go away. So this is your energy. You got the king of swords. So you already in that space and place of self-mastery. You got the star card here. So you already know the power as above, so below. This is you, you know, co-creating with source. And then you got the wheel of fortune. So whatever this is that's coming in, like I said, this is destined for you. This is a blessing. This is a reward. This is something you've asked for. And it's here. And it may come in during this full moon. It may come in within the, you know, before the month is out, beloved, because we got the 7-4 that came out, which is the 11. Today is the 11. The portal has been opened. The doors are open for you. The blessings are going to come through. And you are too smart to fall for the okie doke. You're too smart to fall for some sort of shenanigans that somebody's trying to pull. It's like this is their last attempt at distracting you, blocking you. And it's just not going to happen because I see with the Six of Swords, the outcome, y'all moving on. Y'all moving on to bigger and better. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. I realized I didn't even say my little prayer. And so I do want to close it out with the prayer. 
and just say I give thanks to all of my beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source for coming through, blessing me with the ability to channel the messages, the downloads, to get the number synchronicities. I thank you so much for tapping, helping me to tap in. And I ask that you continue to bliss not only myself, but all of the listeners, all of those who view the readings uh, with power, with the foresight, the intuition, the discernment to make the right decisions, give them the strength, courage, and wisdom to persevere through all that they are going through. And so it is so more to be our Shay. I thank you all for tuning and tapping into the channel. If you are new, I ask that you please show some love. Stay a while. If the message is resonated, um, hit the like, share, subscribe button. If you are returning, beloveds, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Uh, be sure to, um, if you haven't already, uh, check the link below. I have uh, my meditation station channel that I've been doing um, some work on on that side. I'm still getting the gist of everything. Everything, you know getting it all together um, but I find joy in doing that I find joy in and making those meditation um, videos because I just feel like it really takes you out of um, the normalcy out of the mundane out of the the routine that life uh, you know brings and just takes you into um, just like an oasis a place of peace so you know be sure to tap into that channel um, subscribe so that you could get the um, and hit the notification bell so that you could get those notifications of when I'm uploading. But I thank you all for utilizing your time, rotating the love. Um, until next time, big fat Ashe. Peace. <laughs>